The UC San Diego School of Medicine started in 1968. It was an amazing adventure. They brought the best scientists and researchers and clinicians throughout the country and said, why don't you create a new medical school exactly the way you want it? And that's really persisted. That entrepreneurial spirit really has persisted to make this one of the world's great medical schools. One of the more recent big changes in medical education at UC San Diego has been a new curriculum. And this is particularly emphasized the first two years, we call the preclinical years. So what we've done is we've eliminated most of the lectures and instead have switched to small group classrooms. And this is based upon problem-based solving and case-based solving where a small group of students and what we call a facilitator instead of a teacher go through problems and educate each other so at the end of the day everyone understands the material. This is much more fun for the students, it's much more hands-on, it's much more uh, proactive and less passive than lectures and has really caused the students to form bonds and, and the students look out for each other. We have also taken advantage of a beautiful new building, Denny Sanford Medical Education and Telemedicine Building, which is devoted exclusively toward medical education. The entire ground floor is simulations and it goes from classic simulations with the robots that teach you how to do resuscitation to simulated patients where they practice on usually actors and go through different histories and physicals and are critiqued to actual um, clinical material and animal laboratories where they learn how to use the most advanced surgical techniques, use, including using the most advanced Da Vinci robots. This type of hands-on approach is really not available at any other medical center I've ever been. It is much more student-oriented and I think much more in tune with what it takes to be a doctor going forward. All of our students produce a scholarly piece of work. It is part of our medical education. That's not true at most other medical schools, but it provides this unique opportunity for a student to work with a faculty member, to design a project, whether it's wet research or dry research or review or a new educational technique, but to do something together with a faculty member and produce a piece of work. I think that is one of the most highly remembered things to people. The second, and maybe the most popular, is a student-run free clinic. Every evening, in an underserved area in San Diego, the students set up a free clinic to take care of those people who have completely fallen through the safety net of health care. These are homeless people, undocumented people who have no other source of health care. It provides a real sense of ownership and providing health care to the underserved. This is probably medicine at its best. 2002, the Skag School of Pharmacy and Pharmaceutical Sciences was founded. We now have a school that trains about 70 pharmacists every year and a school that trains about 130 medical students every year. And much to our delight, the two groups of students interact at the highest possible level. The very first years, they learn case-based learning and problem-based learning together. Then when they're on the hospital wards, they rotate together and do rounds together where the pharmacy students are providing the background on drugs that are being, dis with decisions are being made in real time with the medical students and the attending faculty. I think this idea of team learning leads to team health care, which is the future, that you're not an individual practitioner in a vacuum, you're working with a team of healthcare professionals, pharmacists, medical students, nurses, physician assistants, and a whole variety of other people to provide outstanding care over a continuity of time. While medicine and science will continue to evolve, our goal will be constant. Create physicians, pharmacists, and scientists who are as compassionate as they are brilliant.